What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I'd like to give you guys my three keys to victory for Sunday's matchup against the New Orleans Saints. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content or NFL content. If you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jew Talk Sports. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign, Jew Talk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Jew Talk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So as I mentioned in today's video, I do want to give my three keys to victory for Sunday's matchup against the New Orleans Saints. Uh, this will be a one o'clock game uh, played at home by our Atlanta Falcons. And so far this year, we are 0-2 at home. So it's time for the Atlanta Falcons to get back on track and win our first home game of the season. Uh, this is also the first NFC South matchup of the season. So this is one of those games that can swing um, and give us momentum uh, heading through the rest of this season. Uh, but with that being said, my first key to victory in this game is going to be the stop number 41, Alvin Kamara of the New Orleans Saints. Uh, to me, he is the engine that makes that offense go. Uh, Alvin Kamara is similar to B. John Robinson on our team because he's a guy that can do it all. He can run the ball. He can catch the ball. He can block. Uh, he's one of the better players or running backs in the NFL. And he has had a resurgence uh, so far this season. He's having a really good season. Um, now, Alvin Kamara has been banged up uh, all week long with multiple injuries. So he is a game time decision. But if he plays in this game, uh, he is the first priority on offense. I really feel like if we shut down Alvin Kamara in this game and make Derek Carr one-dimensional and have to throw the ball, I really feel like that's going to bode well for our Atlanta Falcons. Uh, the second key to victory in this game is going to be the win on third down. We have to be better in this game of getting off the field on third down, on defense, and on offense, we have to extend drives on third down. Uh, we have been really poor this year so far on getting off the field on third down. And we've been very poor um, at um, extending drives uh, on the offensive side of the ball. So I really feel like third down is the money down. We have to be good on third down in this game if we want to win this game. We have to be better on defense at creating negative plays um, on first and second down against opposing offenses. And then on third down, we have to do a better job at moving the chains. And then my third key to victory uh, in this game for our Atlanta Falcons um, will be the control the trenches. It's going to be very important in this game because we have uh, guys like Ryan Newsel who's filling in for Drew Dahlman. We have uh, Storm Norton, who's filling in for Caleb McGarry at that right tackle position. It's going to be very important that we protect Kirk Cousins in this game. The New Orleans Saints are known for sending pressure and blitzing and things of that nature. And we know that Kirk Cousins isn't the most mobile quarterback. So we have to do a good job of protecting him in this game. If we want Kirk Cousins to be able to throw the ball down the field, and if we want to be able to run the ball, this offensive line is going to have to be the MVP of this game. Uh, usually when we play the Saints, it comes down to who wins in the trenches. So we're going to have to do a good job at keeping Kirk Cousins upright. Uh, the Saints do have some pretty good players up front. Uh, Granderson is one of those guys that's having a really good season so far. They have Chase Young over there as well. Um, and they also have Brian Brzee, uh, who's another guy out of Clemson that plays that defensive tackle position that's having a really good season as well. So it's going to be very important that we win in the trenches in this game. And then on the defensive side of the ball, guys like Matthew Judon, who I think was going to be the X, uh, X factor in this game, they're going to have to get after Derek Carr. Uh, guys like David Unyamata, Grady Jarrett, those guys are going to have to do a good job of stopping the run on first and second down and creating third and long situations. I really feel like if we do those things um, and put them in third and long situations, I feel like we can pressure Derek Carr and I think we can force him into a couple mistakes because we have guys on the back end uh, like Jesse Bates and like Justin Simmons that's very opportunistic. We've seen so far this year, both of those guys have an interception. If we're able to create third and long situations, I really feel like that's going to bode well for our Atlanta Falcons in winning this game. Uh, but with that being said, you guys give me your thoughts on the three keys to victory. So as I mentioned, first key to victory is stop Alvin Kamara. Uh, the second key to victory is win on third down. So 
move the chains on third down on offense and get off the field for the defense on third down. And then the fourth key to victory is going to be to control the trenches, both on the offensive line and defensive line. If we do those three things in this game, I feel like the Falcons will start off the NFC South uh, rival 1-0. But you guys give me your thoughts uh, on this game. What are your keys to victory for this game? If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for your boy. I have a lot more content coming for you guys. But as always, Falcons Nation, rise up, be blessed. Peace.